Welcome. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge that we are here today within the usual and accustomed lands of the Lummi Nation and of the Nooksack Tribe of the Coast Salish peoples. Please join us in respect for our indigenous neighbors whose care and protection of the land and water continues today. Good evening, soon to be graduates, BTC employees, family, friends, and community members. My name is Kimberly Perry, and I'm the president of Bellingham Technical College. It's a pleasure to welcome you to the annual BTC commencement, which is our first ever virtual commencement ceremony. Now we call it commencement because this day truly is a beginning, a point of origin, one more milestone in your life's journey. The mission of Bellingham Technical College is to provide student-centered, high-quality, professional technical education for today's needs and tomorrow's opportunities. The last four months have surely tested BTC's ability to fulfill our mission. It was through the adaptability, tenacity, and commitment of students, BTC employees, and our entire community that there are over 586 graduates in the class of 2020. You are to be commended for this amazing accomplishments under these wonderfully interesting circumstances. Let's find out a bit more about this graduating class. Of tonight's 586 graduates, 157 graduated in fall of 2019, 110 in winter 2020, and 275 in spring of 2020. And let's remember those that will be graduating at the end of the summer quarter, which is 44. There are 345 degrees total being awarded tonight, 241 certificates. We have 20 students who have maintained a perfect cumulative GPA of 4.0. Our most mature graduate is 66 years old. It's never too late to earn a degree. And our youngest graduate is 17 years old. Speaking of which, we have five students graduating with an applied associate degree and a high school diploma. And we have several students graduating with our new applied baccalaureate degrees, four in operations and three in engineering technology. What a wonderful graduating class of 2020. Today marks the culmination of your remarkable determination to succeed. As you embark on this next chapter of life, I have three pieces of advice gleaned from my own life's lessons. Number one, experience and interact with the world around you. For me, that means pausing in my morning routine, which is now at home exclusively, to watch a hummingbird take a drink out of the feeder, giving our Irish wolfhound a tubby rub, saving a spider from the sink, and soaking in the physical beauty that is the Pacific Northwest. The last four months, it has become even more important to press the pause button, take a deep breath, and relax. Number two, life is all about people. Take a moment to thank the people who supported you in order for you to be here today. Family members, friends, perhaps a BTC employee or two, or three, and other people who have supported you. The tapestry of the world is woven by the richness of human diversity. By valuing individual attributes, capabilities, and differences, we all learn and grow, thereby creating a more vibrant an interesting world that is inclusive of all. Number three, maintain perspective. You probably already know this, but life is messy. It can be messy good, which usually happens unexpectedly. And of course, it can be messy bad or messy challenging. It's only by embracing the messiness that we can truly define and refine ourselves. You have heard the phrase, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Gene Krantz, the lead flight director of the 1970 Apollo 13 mission said, when an oxygen tank failed, which meant the return to earth was in jeopardy, he said, with all due respect, I believe that this is going to be our finest hour. 
and it was. People who have this perspective of viewing challenges as opportunities live a joyful life and continue to push forward in pursuit of their hopes and their dreams. As you move your tassel in a few moments from right to left, signifying the possibilities that await you, as you contemplate that idea of each of these possibilities, embrace them, lean into them. It's the unknown and the unexpected that makes life both rewarding and challenging and quite frankly makes life worth living, truly living. Bellingham Technical College is governed by a five-person board of trustees. It's a pleasure to introduce Brad Smith, the chair of the board of trustees of Bellingham Technical College. Good evening, BTC graduates. I'm Dr. Brad Smith, the chair of the BTC's Board of Trustees. There's an old proverb that says, may you live in interesting times. While interesting may not be the appropriate word, there's little doubt that our world has changed profoundly in the last several months, from pandemic to protests. This is not the graduation ceremony you had envisioned during your time at Bellingham Technical College. No crowded auditorium with cheering family members, no walk across the stage, and no congratulatory handshakes. I believe, however, that in the years to come, you will remember this virtual graduation ceremony much better than had it been a traditional one. As many of you knew before, and all of us know profoundly now, life does not unfold how we always planned. We are faced with challenges today, and we will in the future. Challenges are a given. Being T BTC graduates, however, will help enable you to face these challenges. Be proud of your accomplishments. It took tenacity, perseverance, and determination to achieve the life-changing degree or certificate being awarded today. Some of you went from being a student onto the front lines of fighting a global pandemic. Others of you will help in rebuilding the nation's infrastructure. Still others will help by engaging in the culinary arts or aquaculture, aquaculture sciences. Whatever career path you embark upon, I have no doubt that you will make a difference. Yes, make a difference. Be that change agent, be that leader, whether in your community, the state or nation, help build a stronger and more vibrant and just world, but also enjoy the journey and respect and learn from those you meet along the way. As the American poet Max Ehrman said in 1927, enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble, it is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Bellingham Technical College is recognized as a leader for providing innovative and effective education to its students. This evening, you will join the ranks as a BTC graduate. Congratulations. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I recognize and applaud your work and dedication. Our best wishes go with you into the new futures that you have created for yourselves. Be the leader, help build a better and just world. Hello. My name is Lindsay Hanna, and I am the Director of Communications on your Student Life Executive Team. On behalf of the members of the Associated Students of Bellingham Technical College, I will read a statement supporting Black Lives Matter. The Associated Students of Bellingham Technical College stand with black people. We recognize and acknowledge that black people's lives matter and that black people have been targeted, brutalized, and murdered through systematic racist violence. Trayvon Martin in Florida, Michael Brown in Missouri, Sandra Bland in Texas, Eric Gardner in New York, Breonna Taylor in Kentucky, Ahmaud Aubrey in Georgia, George Floyd in Minnesota, and now Rashard Brooks in Georgia are just the latest names in a long list of names of black Americans targeted over the past 400 years because of their race. At BTC, we must strive toward the goal that every BTC student has an equal opportunity for success.
For this to happen, we also recognize that every BTC student needs to be safe in their identity in our community and psychologically safe in their person in order to achieve their best outcomes. We have work to do to achieve that together. As a representative as of the Associated Students of Bellingham Technical College, I ask that our campus community come together to rise to the challenge of examining ourselves and our structures for ways that we internalize and perpetuate racist ideas and systems. In addition, we will work to educate ourselves and our campus community in the ways that systematic oppression occurs from microaggressions to overt racism. Thank you. It's a pleasure to introduce Matthew Mays. Most of you probably know him as Maddie. Maddie is a student in the heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration technology program, commonly known as HVAC. And he is our student speaker for the 2020 commencement ceremony. Maddie has been an involved student during his time here at BTC. He participated in BTC's visit to the Capitol in March of 2019, along with three other ASBTC executive team students, trustee Debbie All, and myself. Maddie has served as the HVAC student senator for two years. Also, Maddie has worked as an instructional technician work study student for the HVAC program during his time at BTC. Further, Maddie served on the Services and Activities Fee Budget Committee this year. Maddie has demonstrated extraordinary resiliency and tenacity to achieve his educational goals. His eagerness to put his peers and community before himself is a direct reflection of his exemplary character. It is my pleasure to welcome Maddie Mays. We made it. Hello, everyone. I'm Maddie Mays, HVAC, our program student. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, President Perry, for that smashing introduction. I would like to start out by thanking everyone who helped us get here. It's a long list. The community of this campus is so large, so I will keep it short. The BTC Foundation for helping students like myself attain the chosen career paths forged here, thank you. The administration and the trustees for the collaboration, fundraising, and policy making that makes campus life possible. For the choices that make obtaining a technical degree close to home. The faculty for being the outlet of our newfound knowledge. The ASBTC for governing student activities and giving us events to bring us closer together. The support organizations with its resources and commitment to help guide us. Finally, to all of you, thank you. Thank you for filling this community and making BTC the amazing place that it is. I'm a first generation student, a father of a beautiful little daughter and an adventurous younger son. I am husband to their amazing mother. My family was my inspiration to attain BTC. Like all of you, I made the decision to put forth the time, energy, and determination to be here. My wife and I had just had our son, and I knew I had to decide my career path. I was working hard and getting nowhere. A former BTC graduate was my supervisor. He steered me here. But I made that decision. I enrolled immediately in the HVACR program. Having some prior experience, it was a logical choice. It was also the best choice I ever made. I love what I do. You all made that same choice for different reasons or maybe the same. The point is, we are here together to share in this incredible achievement. What am I a part of? I am part of a community in which I am proud. There's a pride shown through the BTC campus, including the students, student employees, student volunteers, college administrators. For example, the student support groups such as TRIO and STAR. The support they offer students supplies a vital structure for those who use it. A shout out to Amy Navarro, my TRIO coach. She helped me navigate life from the very beginning. I will be forever grateful the tutoring center, and all the other tutors on campus who gave focus and attention to the students and helped them get here today. 
the faculty and the staff here on the campus and the organizations that work with the college to provide support, fundraising, do donations to the school and the community abroad. What are we? We are part of the Bellingham Technical College community that stretches across the country and touches places all over the world. We are the workforce that is needed. We will be the ones to keep our industries going, our small businesses strong, and the future leaders of community. Embrace the suck that is COVID-19, the short and the long-term implications that come with it. The consequences that some of us are feeling right now in this very moment. There are issues that we can, we can and will surmount. This pandemic is delaying a whole quarter for us, forcing some of us to have to come back next year or this summer and not being able to walk for this ceremony. I did not graduate high school. You can imagine walking was a pretty big deal to me. I had just come to terms with the fact that I was not going to walk when I was asked to speak here tonight. I will not stand here and say I deserve this more than any of you. I am sure there are many of you graduates out there that would have been wonderful up here. I am just acknowledging that I was recognized by my peers and faculty to speak to all of you. I was recognized for my strength, dedication, and hard work. And so many, and I see so many of you doing the same hard work all across the campus. It is this collective strength that I was chosen to highlight and share with you today. The strength of our community. We were strong before this, and it is our strength, determination, and hard work that will make our community a better place. Remember, you graduated. You have persevered in the face of an unforeseen, unprecedented situation to make our lives and those around you that much better. Where we go after today is up to you. Offices, clinics, shops, work vans, factories, kitchens, or working from home. You will get yourself there by being part of this community in which we call Bellingham Technical College. I will leave this quote with you from a man particularly important to us all, Dr. Willis Carrier. For those of you who do not know him, take a second and thank him for your air conditioning. When we force ourselves to face the worst and accept it mentally, we eliminate all vague imaginings and put ourselves in a position in which we are able to concentrate on our problem. Friends, family, and everyone watching, turn to your graduates and congratulate them. Let them know how proud we are. Thank you. I would like to congratulate our two retiring faculty, Lee Falta and DJ Kent. BTC has been fortunate to have had the dedication and longevity from these two faculty members. It's one of BTC's traditions that a retiring faculty member gives the faculty member address at commencement. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce Deidre Kent, who joined the Bellingham Technical College faculty in 2008. Deidre spent over 20 years in the field of public accounting before joining the faculty at BTC. She has spent the last 12 years building relationships with advisory committee members, employers, and other professionals in the community to assure that our business and accounting program students are able to connect with them for field-based experiences or internships and, of course, employment opportunities after graduation. As a result, BTC is recognized as an institution that trains competent and professional bookkeepers and accountants. Deidre's students say that her passion for accounting and dedication to helping them reach their goals is what they appreciate most about her. Ms. Kent will deliver greetings and congratulations from the faculty to the graduates. Greetings, graduates, families and friends, faculty, staff, administrators, President Perry, and the BTC Board of Trustees. First, I want to express my appreciation for the efforts you have all made during these unique and challenging times. Tough times never last, but tough people do. I want to express my gratitude to all the people 
that our first responders, medical personnel, hospital support personnel, food suppliers, other essential workers, and all the people who are donating time and money to help those who are most vulnerable. Just like here at BTC, we are all in this together. While we have lost the opportunity to share this experience in person, important connections will continue. I was particularly honored to be asked to be the commencement speaker on behalf of the incredible faculty here at BTC. Because I'm retiring this year, I guess all good things must come to an end. Graduates, thanks for choosing a vocation that will benefit our communities and country while affording you the opportunity to prosper. Thanks for resisting the temptation to borrow vast amounts of money for a four-year degree that may not guarantee you anything other than the obligation to pay off that enormous debt. Be proud of the path that you have chosen. It will take you far. And know that you have mattered here at BTC. I suppose that part of my job as the faculty speaker is to provide you with some wisdom that I've gained over the years. So that's what I intend to do. First, we carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. Many of you have had to overcome serious obstacles to achieve your goal of graduating tonight. I hope that this success helps you to see the power that you have in your hands. Just look how far you've come individually. Two, it's the journey that teaches you a lot about the destination. Don't ever be afraid to fail or make mistakes in your journey. Perceived failure can become the catalyst for profound reinvention. To quote Thomas Edison, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they simply gave up. Your presence here this evening is a testament to the fact that you persevered even when it was not the easy path. Lastly, integrity, morals, and values matter. The moral code that one lives by shapes who they are. Integrity means following your moral or ethical convictions and doing the right thing in all circumstances, even if no one is watching you. Having integrity means you are true to yourself and would do nothing that demeans or dishonors you. To quote Michelle Obama, I've learned that as long as I hold fast to my beliefs and values and follow my own moral compass, then the only expectations I need to live up to are my own. So think about what makes you who you are. Define your values, those that are lasting, like hard work, honesty, responsibility, fairness, generosity, and respect for others. Let these be your guiding force. When things get back to our new normal in this country, we're going to enter a different age, an age of making things, fixing things, and building things. We must. An age where skilled workers like you are going to be in demand like never before. So thanks again for learning a skill that is in demand and for choosing a career of meaningful work. As you pursue your pathway in your new career, remember the importance of relationship building and community because no one does things by themselves. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. We, the faculty at BTC, could not be prouder. I present to you the graduating class of 2020 earning an Associate in Applied Science and or a Certificate of Completion in a Professional Technical Program or a Bachelor's of Applied Science at Bellingham Technical College. These students have completed a course of study and will have met all of the requirements for the certificate and or degree upon verification of spring and or summer records. I recommend these candidates for conferring a Bachelor's of Applied Science an Associate in Applied Science degree, or a Certificate of Completion. Students, it is now time in our ceremony where you will be recognized with your name, degree and certificate earned, and of course, your photo.
just one more official act remains, the conferring of the degrees, and then you will be a graduate. Students, I have the honor as president of Bellingham Technical College under the authority vested in me by the State Board of Community and Technical Colleges and the Board of Trustees, Bellingham Technical College, I confer upon each of you the degree of Bachelors of Applied Science, Associate of Applied Science, or Certificate of Completion in Professional Technical Education. You are now officially graduated and you may move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations, graduates. You did it.